Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash and welcome to Rodha. So here we are discussing one very important thing before CAT that is about low score in mocks. Okay. And how its actual meaning is different, right? What you interpret and you just get frustrated actually. Okay. It's such an important topic or topic of discussion today, right? It's such an important thing you should understand about the dynamics of these exams, right? Okay. Now, before that, we have that information about national scholarship test here, guys. So do give this test. It is on every Sunday, 5 to 5.40 p.m. And this test, uh, 5 to, sorry, this, uh, this, this time it is 5 to 7 p.m. And it is actually about all, uh, all the uh, good quant questions, LRDA questions, and all these uh, good verbal questions, all uh, together in a single exam, right? And we have prepared it for a lot of hard work, this national scholarship for test. It has got some really good exam level, right? And this is such a, it contains some good expected questions. Uh, it, it contains, right, to four exams. So you can see for all the previous exams, right? This Sunday we'll have CAT actually. So you can just enroll for this link and the, all the previous scholarship test, NST, you can actually give. Okay. So all the previous NSTs you can just give. Uh, uh, we had uh done in the last weekends okay all are in uh, all will be available you can just enroll in the below link okay and you can get all the previous nst links which i've already done and just you can good have a good revision before cat all those questions right okay now if you see here guys so once we get this but what actually that low score in mocks means right see now understand this dynamics of the exam this is very important actually right see because now let's say, for example, if you must have given some uh, last uh, two, three mocks, right? So you must have seen that what are the number of people giving their, those uh, national level mocks, right? And you know that there are only two, three good mocks nationally, which is attributed by most of the people, right? So see, you see that that hard, that number is always varying from between 10,000 to 20,000. Okay. So 10K to 20K people attempt those mocks in the last one and one and a half month to get, right? These are the serious people who have not give up till now. Okay. And they want to succeed. They want to give mock and they want to score well. Okay. So, and if I combine two, three, there are many unique people, which are, uh, there are, there are very common people also, which will give you giving those two, three mocks uh, of all these rates. Right? So let's say, for example, it could be uh, time mocks or CL mocks or uh, uh, IMS mocks, right? So many common people would be also be there. So, Roughly, there are around 25,000 people, okay, giving those mocks, those serious candidates, right? And actually, your fight is here only, right? So actually, your fight is here only, right? Because out of this 25k, out of this 25k people here, okay, let's say you have got 60 percentile here. If you have got 60 percentile here, that means your rank is roughly 10,000, right? If your rank is roughly 10,000, so in CAT, suddenly you'll be sitting around 2 lakh people. Okay. And in this 2 lakh people, actually, if your rank is 10,000, then it actually becomes 90 percentile, right? It becomes 90 percentile, yes. So you're getting frustrated at 60 percentile because you're fighting for that among all the CS candidates there. But in any national level exam, this doesn't happen, right? There are all those extra people who just sit for the just just sit in the cat just for the sake of giving it. Many people out of the, those extra 1.5 that 1.5 lakh people will sit in the cat just to increase your percentile, right? So those 1.5 lakh people will sit in the cat just to increase your percentile, right? Your rank, your knowledge is same, your rank may be same, but your percentile has increased from 60% to 90 percentile. This is what happens in any, any exam, right? So first of all, you just have to don't get frustrated. Correct, right? So don't get frustrated and don't give up till cat, right? Just keep on trying till cat. So once you are in that 90 percentile range, you have tried very hard. You are trying very hard, right? The paper suddenly level comes down and you're in that 95 plus range after that, right? Okay. So first, first thing is very important that that 1.5 lakh people, you don't have that competition actually. They are just sitting to increase the, your percentile. So make sure that you study hard and you revise multiple times such that you are not sitting in CAT to increase somebody else's percentile. 
okay so you should not be setting in cat to increase somebody else percentile those 1.5 lakh lakh people 1.5 lakh people should set in cat to increase your percentile okay so that's how you should actually study in uh, study for cat okay now another important thing that comes 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 to my mind here is actually uh once you are once you are uh, this uh, close into basically this cat cat kind of exam right so many people would would be giving up actually obviously right so many people just give up okay many people just uh, give the exam just for sake of it right so actually my if uh, my thinking is if you are prepared quite nicely if you have not give up till now in the 30 to 40 days that means you are already in around 90% percentile to 90 90 to 95 range right now actually what happens after this see many people actually see because let's say for example cat is at 100 level right now okay obviously we know that mocks are around 25 to 30% above cat level and this time after that change pattern the many mocks are very ir- irrelevant right even that those prestigious mocks are very irrelevant so many irrelevant questions tough questions right because i also used to set mocks so i know that we are the persons only setting uh, setting the mocks and we don't know what kind of pattern is there right so just predator is trying to uh, check on the different patterns right but obviously in mocks once they give question they pick all the difficult questions which are not doable doable in the exam doable in the exam right but this doesn't happen in cat cat will be a perfect mixture of easy plus moderate plus tricky and plus fit difficult questions okay so you have to target your easy all of easy and moderate and few of tricky and difficult question to get the desired percentile okay so now there is one more reason actually why people don't do so well in mocks right there's so many example that people don't don't do so well in mocks and they do very well in cat why or what happens because this is i have analyzed this actually let's say cat is at 100 level and mock is at 130 level right now okay if mock is at 130 level if cat is at 100 level many of us started from that 60 70 level right quite low quite level below cat right and if we're trying to push us uh, ourselves up also maybe we are trying to reach very hard so we try we reach level 110 maybe we reach 110 to 115 right but we are not able to reach that 130 that means we are not able to think when there are all difficult questions one by one one by one one by one in mock so our mind is not sad uh, my mind is everybody mind is different right so our mind many of us many of us minds are not that adaptive so that we can solve all difficult questions one by one one by one one by one right but it's very important to keep practicing those questions keep revising out those concept so that suddenly even once you give cat and you are prepared very hard you are given lot of marks you understood the importance of revising you revise a lot in last 30 40 days even in last 10 days last 5 days right suddenly the cat come when, when you give cat the level of your test comes down from 130 to 100 and you find you are at 110 now cat looks easier to you six seven questions in cat you can do in first 15 minutes and you are like full of confidence right and the whole game changes right just like a cricket match right somebody is actually playing well right even if team doesn't perform the whole scenario changes actually right so it's all about taking that initiative and initiative and not giving up right so you just didn't give up till cat and in cat you are in best of your mental phase your best of preparation right any player can perform under pressure if they are under your best of mental preparation and they are in the best of mental phases they are happy right now they are confident then they can perform well in the exam any panic player any unconfident player cannot perform well in matches right same is applicable to you guys also okay so be happy be confident be surrounded with all the positive energy i believe a lot in this positive energy i give in i i tell all my students about this positive energy also right half surround thing all pos- be be positive be surrounded with positivity okay you remove all the negative things all your friends who are talking negative right just remove okay you will always find that one section of people if 20 people are preparing for any good exam 10 people one month before the exam will leave it another five people okay will leave it very close to the exam right and there are all those negative people right so that's why remove all those negativity around yourself uh, 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 from your side and be very positive 
because the mocks actually doesn't reflect your actual scores. Okay, so this thing really happened, right? The level of mocks is sometimes high, and our mind it's very it's very well the most common reason, right? In mocks, you see one difficult from arithmetic. Once you solve it, another difficult from geometry. Once you solve it, another difficult from algebra, right? In CAD, this doesn't happen. You'll have six to eight to ten easy to moderate questions, right? And once you're doing that, that means your mind is and is not under so much pressure in those six, eight, ten questions. Once you can solve quickly those six, eight, ten questions, then you can mind can concentrate on the other tough, few, few trickier questions, right? And you can end up in that ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine in CAT. Okay, so just remember that in the CAT, the other one, one point five lakh people are just sitting there to increase your percentile, right? You just don't have to give up, or in it happens in any exam, right? You will be giving that afterwards, IFT afterwards, right? So fight is still IFT. I always tell, right? So any exam, the one this there is more than seventy percent people who are just giving for the giving for for the sake of giving it, right? Not at all serious, right? So those are the people which will increase the percentile. So once you see your score in mock, right? So they once you see your score in mock. Right, that is not the actual reflection. So these are the particular two reasons why people score less in mocks, right? And but still they score more in CAT, right? So first reason is actually so two very important reasons. First reason why people score low in mocks but very good in CAT because while preparing yourself up, you may not reach to that one thirty level of mock, but you have crossed that hundred level of CAT. Okay. And once you have crossed that hundred level of CAT or somewhere here above CAT, then CAT is easier, and you can just uh, do very well in CAT. If you have studied last very well in last twenty, thirty days, last ten days, you have revised a lot, you have practiced a lot, you have practiced new question, you have revised all your old uh, notes, your mocks, right? You have done all these things, okay? And second thing is actually that uh, why people score low in in mocks and still good in CAT because the other half, right? The other Seventy-five uh, percent of the people are just sitting to increase your percentile, and this thing actually we don't don't see, right? That people are just sitting to increase your percentile. Okay, we don't see that, and we are just like frustrated. We are giving we are we are uh, giving a mock in twelve thousand people. If I get some sixty percentile, my rank is seventy-two hundred among serious candidate, right? That's would be a ninety-three percentile in CAT, right? But we are not at all. Thinking about those good things, right? We are always thinking about bad things. So my aim is basically, basically to give you all the positivity in at this moment. Even if you score low in low in mocks, trust me, guys. I'm teaching for eight years. I've seen more than five hundred uh, such cases who were didn't who didn't do uh, well in mocks till last moment and still did very well in CAT, right? Because we had I had one student last year who scored ninety nine point five in CAT. Okay, and she didn't give, used to give mocks actually, right? Because she she gave three to four mark mocks only, and she she just like she just told like, uh, sir, I really fear uh, I'm really afraid of giving mocks. Okay, just let me revise. Ah, uh, let me ah uh, uh, go by my way. Okay, I don't want to give much mocks. Okay, and just I I I want to go by my way. Am I going correct? I told that as long as you feel that you are going good. You are solving questions. You are so you are having good content knowledge. If you are not comfortable in mocks, many people are not comfortable with with that one thirty difficulty level, right? So I told her, okay, it's fine. And ultimately, she scored, but hardly give she gave three to four mock. She never did well, and she got ninety nine point five in CAT. It really happens, actually, right? These things. Many students, ah, uh, many students give thirty give thirty mocks. Okay, never crossed seventy five percentile. And seventy percentile in LRDI, they never crossed, right? They never crossed actually. And in CAT, suddenly they found two of the sets in the which we had done in the class. One was script arithmetic in CAT CAT nineteen. So we have done so many sets of script arithmetic in CAT nineteen. One was web diagram, and both were done in class. They find two sets convert two sets there, and they do in first fifteen minutes. So they got seventy percentile throughout their thirty mocks in their life, and in first fifteen minute only. They would have crossed that seventy percentile if they saw if they solved both that set, right? So these things happen, right? So basically, you don't know what is coming in CAT, right? So just face CAT with the, your best of mental 
uh, in your in your best of mental phases, right? Just face cat because you don't know that the sex which you are going to cat. How you know that they are they will, they are uh, they will be like you don't have studied that. It's very much possible that some similar concept of mocks or or class can come in cat actually, right? So at the in these situations, be very positive, be be very confident and revise a lot. That's what I always say. Keep on revising a lot, right? So. you may not reach that 130 level but if you reach that 100 to 105 level or 110 level that is that is all required for cat that's it right so this is one of the two of the major reasons why people don't do good or are good in mocks but still they score very well in cat and again in my youtube channel i'll be making a making you meet those people after cat who never scored so good in mock but they did very well in cat make sure that you are one of those people right so tell me that sir i never did uh, so well in mock actually but i i didn't give up at the last i didn't give up and uh, at last i and uh, in any of those five top exams i got that 99 percentile plus okay and i ended up in top 20 top 30 college top 20 top 30 college that's the ultimate aim so wishing you all the positivity guys all the best and now don't give any mocks in this last four days no mocks at all just keep on revising keep on revising keep on revising multiple times your previous mocks your current current notes keep on revising what you have studied right all the best bye bye